Man, I just love casting commercials. Sam, what other business can you call up, ask for young, beautiful, and sexy, and they just send a bunch right over? <laughs> there is an answer for that, you know. This is not the day to be retaining water. Is this what it's normally like on casting day? No, usually you see at least one former TV sitcom star that just makes you sad. Ugh. There goes small wonder. Uh, Rotten. <clears throat> she goes first. She's got some place to be. Where? Your apartment? <laughs> yeah, but not right away. You know what, Milo? I think that Jack and I can cast a spot without you. Whoa, 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 slow down there, Castro. You can't just ice me out of casting, I'm a producer. Milo, I'd like you to meet your new boss, me. Yeah, that's right, we don't need him. Hey, uh, can I take a look at the headshots before we go in? I like to memorize the names. And why would an editor be in casting? Well, I, I have to be there. I've got the casting eye. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? I don't know, but that's what I told Jack four years ago, and I've been in on every casting session ever since. Hello. Gotcha. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Let's get the show on the road. I had a bran muffin for breakfast. <laughs> Jack! Uh, we got a problem here. Talk to Robin. That's why I hired her. My problem is with Robin. Then I guess you're screwed. <laughs> well, I guess we can look at him from out here. Yeah, but out here we're just two drooling guys. In there, we're two drooling guys with power. No, 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 of course, Jack. I completely agree with you. His input would be very valuable. Uh, Milo, Jack would like you to sit in on casting. Yes! <laughs> I bring that editor guy. What's his name? He's got the casting eye. <laughs> We'll be letting people know in a day or two. Oh, and here's a thought. When you wear a skirt, I don't know, maybe cross your legs when you sit down? I liked it. There's a shocker. Well, that does it for me. I'm calling it a day. It's 9 o'clock in the morning. And since you've built this company from the ground up, you must be exhausted. You guys can handle this, right? Don't worry, Jack. I won't let the new girl screw anything up. Don't worry, Jack, I won't let the old boy screw anything. Great, then I'm going. Oh, and uh, somebody get that little robot chick's autograph for me. Okay, guys, I'm crossing off that last woman. She mispronounced papaya. Hey, hey, hey. Papaya happens to be an acceptable alternate pronunciation. She was dumb. And if she's dumb, it reflects poorly on the smoothie. Whoa, whoa, Milo, Milo, look at this one. Ooh, she would reflect very nicely on a smoothie. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present your next auditionee, Michelle Stoker. You may have seen Michelle in the industrial classic, Safety and Your Forklift. <laughs> and after graduating summa cum laude from the Myrtle Beach School of the Arts, Michelle's... Thank you, Leon. <laughs> the proverbial kitten with the whip. Hey, black people! <laughs> and semi-hip looking white guy. <laughs> actually have a shot at this job. <laughs> Wait a minute. This has to be a lie. A black belt? Hey, I refuse to believe a woman as beautiful as you can hurt anyone. Well, don't worry. I only attack when provoked. Ooh, I'm scared. <laughs> All righty. What do you say we read for the part? Oh, yeah, sure. Um, I made a few choices with the character. I hope you like it. <clears throat> I don't know what to do. I want the great fresh taste of papaya, but I don't have time to get to Hawaii. Oh, sorry. Uh, um, uh, uh, try this. Papaya Slam. It's uh, the latest creation from Nice and Smoothies. What? It's like a party in me, man. Move over, boy. She says, you're getting slick. Fantastic. That was fantastic. Really? You like it because my acting coach 
she was a little worried about me doing the German accent. <laughs> well, fire that guy. <laughs> w w would you like to see it another way? Because I could do, could no. do it again. No. Uh, that's... That's enough. Thank you. Okay. Uh, why, why don't you wait outside for a sec? Give us a minute to talk it over. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. I think we found our gal. Oh, please. She was horrible. You only liked her because she touched you. Here. She touched me here. <laughs> Sam, Cast and I, buddy, you liked her, right? Well, I mean, she was cute, but she can't act to save a bleeding life. <laughs> Oh, well, if we're gonna judge them on acting, we could be here all day. Milo, go tell her thanks, but not this time. But then she'll never go out with me. Can't you, like, call her in the morning? I'll be gone by then. <laughs> Milo, experience something new. Try being just a little bit ethical. Then what's in it for me? <laughs> I see. <laughs> Sam. Thank you for being professional enough not to fill these women with false hopes just to get in their pants. That's what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> Dinner tonight! And she makes another bad choice. <laughs> and, uh, thanks for that ethical thing. It worked. I, I told her she didn't get the part, and she still wanted to go out with me. Man, all these years I could have been making better commercials. <laughs> weeks. We've never taken this long to cast a commercial. Look, Robin, I got mine. Just pick somebody. Not until we find the right woman. What was wrong with the big one? Guess I answered my own question there, didn't I? Hi, is there anything that I should know or should I just dive right in? Aren't you... Um, Milo, what's going on? I, I don't know. Uh, Michelle, what are you doing here? Michelle, no. No, I'm Sandy. Her sister? Oh, God, I told my agent, stop putting us up for the same parts. Twins? Michelle never mentioned having a... twin? Catfight during a double mint commercial. We're not close. Oh, so, so, so you're a twin. So you're like the exact same person, but you're not. Even though you look the same, because you're a twin. I, I, I'm Sam. A pretty hair clip, is that... Plastic? <laughs> I'm sorry, Sandy. Uh, anytime you're ready. Sure. I don't know what to do. I want the great fresh taste of papaya, but I don't have time to go to Hawaii. She said papaya. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, sorry. Uh, 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 try this. Uh, papaya Slam. It's the latest creation from Nice and Smoothies. <laughs> Wow, it's like a party in my mouth. Move over, boring juices. You're getting slammed. Yes! Finally! <laughs> Thank you. Excellent. Twins! <laughs> Sandy, you're perfect. The job is yours if you want. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! <laughs> Paperwork? No problem. Okay. <laughs> well, this is great. One for Milo, one for me. <laughs> hey, um, what, what do you think? Should I cook her a rigatoni dinner or uh, invite her to see my band? Ooh, uh, does the band still have an accordion? You betcha. Rigatoni. <laughs> but make sure it's al dente, because limp noodles may send a message you don't want to send. <laughs> oh, hey, Milo, uh... Where's Sandy? I, I want to ask her something. She just left, but we're having dinner tonight. You want me to ask her something for you? Yeah. Ask her if she'll have dinner with me tonight. <laughs> that would be kind of awkward. What are you doing? You have one already. Sam, this is twins, man. This is the ultimate fantasy, buddy. I had a different fantasy. One! <laughs> you know what? This isn't right. When you get twins, your friends are supposed to say you the man. Yeah, Sam. What kind of friend are you? You... You owe me one woman. <laughs> So there really are no lines for you, are there? The job, your co-workers' feelings, they're all just toys in your mad playpen. How do you sleep at night? With twins. <laughs> Sam, I'm 
telling you, these twins are something else. <laughs> are we still on this? Hey, man, you do not understand how lucky you are. You are this close to a man who is this close to being the meat in a twin sandwich. <laughs> now, the only tricky part is they hate each other, so I got to make sure they don't find out about each other until the right exact moment, and then... Ta-da! That's it. I'm going to lunch. I'd invite you along, but it's two-for-one cheeseburgers at Fatty's, and I'd like to end up with at least one. <laughs> hey, Sandy. Hey. Didn't you get my message? Jack pushed the meeting back an hour. Apparently, there was a little altercation on the golf course, and he had to go pick Sean Penn out of a liner. Well, that's cool, because I can go grab a bite, and I'll be back in an hour, OK? And I'll be right here. Well, yeah. <laughs> Milo, can I see you for a moment? Sir. I don't want you kissing Sandy. You can't tell me that. Yes, I can. Tomorrow morning, we have to shoot close-ups with that woman sipping a smoothie, and I don't want you scratching up her lips with that skeezy little mustache of yours. <laughs> You're jealous. <laughs> no, I'm just looking out for my professional interests. You see, when I come to work, I come to work. Jealous. <laughs> to do my job in a way that I'm proud of and earn not just the money I'm paid. Jealous. <laughs> of my co-workers, it's called being professional. Now, I'm surprised they didn't teach you that at Joe's Bar and Grill in college or wherever in the hell you went to school. You want this. Hey, I did a little punch-up on the smoothie script, and I thought you might want to... Maybe I should come back later. He is so unprofessional. Well, then, we'll just have to replace you, won't we? <laughs> I'm talking about Milo and his hyperactive zipper. What do you care? I don't care. It's just that I'm out there trying to run a business, and he's out there starring in a pornographic episode of Sister, Sister. Oh, I see what's going on here. Thank you. Been a while since you got any, huh? <laughs> what? No, it hasn't been a while. And what in the world does that have to... How long is a while? Four weeks. Okay, so it's been three whiles. <laughs> and that's not the point. When is he gonna grow up and stop dogging around like that? Why are you so obsessed with fixing Milo? I don't want to fix him. It's just, if there were only a way for Milo to be just a little less Milo, he might actually be an acceptable human being. Oh, yeah? Then what would you do with him? <laughs> Look, Stephen, you're my agent, not my mother, so stop asking me so many questions. Yeah, I know the contract says Sandy, but there is no Sandy, it's me, Michelle. It's just this stupid twin sister thing I made up so they'd let me read again. <laughs> Look, they bought it. Hey, just shut up, take your 10%, and just be grateful that at least one of us knows how to get me some work. <laughs> Get out of here. Wow. Nope. Hurt her myself. So, so who gets to tell him? Oh, me. Come on. I deserve this. I, I didn't get any twins, and my second cheeseburger had a thumbnail in it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, Sam. Not so fast. Now, you know if we tell him this now, we're only going to make him feel like an idiot. Here's hoping. But if we don't tell him now and handle this appropriately, I think we can also make him look like an idiot. I love that you're my boss now. What are you doing? Nothing. I just see an opportunity to teach Milo a lesson. Maybe make him a better man. Yeah. Then what are you gonna do with him? Uh, Milo, can I see you in my office for a minute? Something's come up. She can't make a move without me. <laughs> Milo, we have got a big problem. The client looked at the tape and, well, they like the other twin better. What? I don't understand this, Robin, and I don't like it. I just don't like it. <laughs> Did you not like it a little less? Oh, you're right. Sorry. So, I need you to break the bad news to Sandy and get Michelle in here to meet Jack in an hour. Do you think you can do that? Wait, 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 wait. they hate each other. If I tell Sandy that her sister got the job, she'll kill me. Besides, they might find out what I've been doing and... The dream will be over. <laughs> Twins. Milo, stop.
Stop listening to little Milo and get the other girl in here. Wait, 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 wait. Gotta sit down, buddy. There's gotta be another way. I mean, uh, uh, we, we can shoot two commercials. We can shoot one with each sister, and we don't even have to put film in the camera for the second one. Hey! Yeah, yeah. Oh, but then we have to hire two crews, there's stage time. We're talking serious money. I mean, I don't see Jack signing off on that. Damn. Good thought, though. <laughs> Could have worked. Oh, oh, I got it. Why don't we just get Sandy to act like her sister? Oh, yes! 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 Wait! <laughs> I don't know if she's a good enough actress to pull that off. Yeah, you're right. They're, they're, they're too different. Another good idea, though. Too bad. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, I think I know how to play this, guys. We don't have to tell Sandy who they picked, right? Well, she doesn't know won't hurt her. Great, then I'll page Michelle, tell her to come down here right away. In the meantime, I'll tell Sandy that the client decided to go a different way. Ooh, this could work. Yes, yes, I think it could. <laughs> Hi, um, can you have Michelle call Milo Doucette at Old Dog Productions? He has good news. Thanks. Bada bing. Now, all I have to do is get rid of Sandy before Michelle shows up. If you can pull that off, we'll be truly amazed. Prepare to be amazed, my brother. <laughs> uh, Sandy, we need to talk. What's up? Um, well, I got some not-so-good news. It turns out the client took another look at the audition tapes, and, well, they decided to go with another actress. What? Oh, my God! This is the first job I've had in... Wait, is it my sister? Are you hiring my sister? No. No. No, 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 no. Not your sister. Not your sister. Another person very different from your sister. Damn! Neither one of us got it! I thought you hated your sister. Well, yeah. But we're still related, and we do speak occasionally. On holidays. <laughs> Here you go. This is weird. What? This message is from me. Why would you be paging me and I'm right here? I didn't. I paged your sister. Oh. Well, uh, uh, you know, twins, the whole mystical connection thing. One time I burned my hand on the stove and she... Wait a minute. <laughs> Why would you be paging my sister? Good news? Are you hiring her for the part? Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Yes! Yes! Yeah! Pay my rent! I can pay my rent! Oh, I can buy those shoes. <laughs> I can buy those shoes, boy! <laughs> hey, he! You! You're you and you. You're both. No twins! <laughs> That's it? No uh, running around, changing clothes, slamming doors? Sorry, Squiggy. <laughs> How could you do this? How could you lie to me? Lie to you? You have been cheating on me with my very own sister. You don't have a sister. And you know what? You're so unimaginative. You take her to the drive-in, you take me to the drive-in, and how do you think I felt knowing that you had just been there with my sister? You don't have a sister! <laughs> this is more like... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is impossible. I mean, if you're just one person, how come it was so different when we were, you know, uh... In bed? That's because I was way too tired to fake it when I was my sister. <laughs> Which reminds me, I cannot believe that you told my sister that black men don't do that. <laughs> and I know you do that. <laughs> You sound this is too much fun. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You knew? You set me up? You bet your ass I set you up. Hey, hey, you had help. <laughs> Talk about unprofessional. Wait till I tell Jack. Tell him what? That you risked the commercial to fulfill some stupid fantasy about sleeping with twins? Excuse me? You thought you were gonna get us both at the same time? <laughs> well, what kind of family do you think we come from? <laughs> Shut up! You don't have a sister! <laughs> I cannot wait to see the look on Jack's face. How's this? <laughs> How long have you been there? I got through half my juice box. <laughs> Were you there long enough to hear that Robin was using company time to make me look like an idiot? Jack, 
I just want you to know that during this process, at no point did I ever jeopardize the wait, company or... Wait, 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 or... wait. I've got a question. What don't black men do? <laughs> uh, you see, I was tired, and um, I got this temporary crown. So, um, um, I mean, that's not the point. So I don't see what all the fuss is about. You cast your first commercial, and you got to have a little fun with Milo. Not the fun you'd like to have. I got an obviously good actress for the spot and Small Wonders coming out to the house on Lake Geneva this weekend. <laughs> See, everyone's happy. May I show you to the sound stage? Oh, sure. So you're in charge around here? I'm not happy. Well, I am. See, there's just one girl, and that means that technically I only struck out once. This improves my lifetime average. Ooh. I better update my web page. <laughs> So, you were behind this whole thing, huh? Yeah. You went through all this trouble just to see me squirm. I sure did. Now I'm happy. <laughs> what? You sunk to my level. With all your big talk about ethics and professionalism, you're just as bad as I am. I am not. Yes, you are. You know, and I always said, if you had a little bit more Milo in you, you might be an acceptable human being. <laughs> I need to take a shower. <laughs> We can start there. <laughs> Leon Sykes Petty Bone, audition tape, nice and smoothies. Handsome! I don't know what to do. I want the great fresh taste of papaya, but I don't have time to go to Hawaii. Try this, Papaya Slam. It's the new creation from Nice and Smoothies. Wow, it's like a, a party in my mouth. Move over, boring juices. Whoosh! You're getting slammed. 